Wow, I'm just amazed that we're finally in week two and we're opening up with big season nine teams here trying to recover from week one. So far, it's a normal game where people just mind their own business. Yeah, and, and I like what how Cram and SDZYZ started this game. Cram actually leashed, uh, leashed uh, for SDZYZ just so that they can get that orange buff way quicker. And that's a good idea. And yes, now leashing is a good idea for your junglers because of how fast uh, it can reset and really just being able to do more damage quickly and have your jungler rotate faster. Yeah, and the other thing, you know, again, focusing on the junglers here as this is going to be the early game that we want to want to take a look at is once again, Demon Kite, we already knew that that Demon Slayer is going to be locked in here. So the focus on objectives, right, is going to be there for RSG. Meanwhile, SDZYZ going a little bit different here in that style, picking up this Hayabusa, has that high and dry, will be looking to grab kills he can. Because if TNC can get a snowball rolling here with this lineup, it would allow them to actually just do what they want to do, keep Yasuo protected. Yeah, and SDZYZ already level four here, could definitely get a pickup kill. When you get that Hayabusa, you kind of want to use that ultimate every time it's up. Try to find kills, bend things already in the mid lane, but so far, nobody has pulled the trigger. Yeah, and it's also more of a signal now for Aqua, who has a tremendous history of playing a very assassin-esque Kagura. Yeah. That now, if Aqua is looking for those really aggressive positionings, he'll have to be careful. Because if he's caught off guard and he's caught alone, SDZYZ will most likely be there, able to pick him off with a quick shadow kill. Yeah, and here we go. Now the turtle, first turtle of the game is going to go ahead and spawn here. We're going to see both teams getting set up in position, SD still going to be working on that orange buff, so it's only going to be a matter of time. Demon Kite gets that information. He's like, you know what, let me go grab the purple and then be fully ready for that first a big fight, but already TNC setting up in that bush. <laughs> going to get spotted out here by Aqua. Oh, quick Wait block there. Ben the Thing's board. almost biting the dust there, but they're going to start the turtle. Their RSG will take him down to 3 fourths HP. Graham in a good position. Light really hasn't snuffed him out just yet. TNC with a good oh. skirmish here. Feathered airstrike will land on just one, but Aqua is low in HP. Ooh, wow. The Karina secures the turtle, and SD has to go back. Ben Thing's low in HP, but the fight oh, continues. Whoa. And first blood goes to the Ruby. Kenji, but it's the first kill of the season. Oh, great calm, great control, and great execution there by RSG. That was tremendous positioning by Escalera. That small adjustment on that Farsa to put himself in a really great spot to be able to pop off that ultimate in a good location but at the end of the day rsg was the one able to secure the turtle with the fast hands of demon kite so a great as you guys mentioned great positioning there right and it was very clean i mean also discipline this is kind of what we're expecting from both of these teams here rsg like i said they've got to be very careful right with the decisions that they make here. SD though. Ooh, nice pull here in SD. Ooh. He's gonna immediately go down with a burst coming in from Aqua. I like that rotation by Kenji. TNC were caught off guard, oh. another hook. No bloody hunt though, he yeah, gets yeah, suppressed. Yeah. Here comes the damage coming in from Demon Kite and the reset Ooh. is there. Demon Kite gets his kill. And that is the kind of spike and kind of tempo that RSG wants. Demon Kite versus Cramp. And they're Kramp still it. at it. It's a one for one. And now Light, he's <laughs> gonna go to the gold lane to 2v1. Nice hook in Ammon. He has to flicker out Yasuo. He's gonna go Don't in with Feathered oh. Feather Air Strike. Crossbow of Tang. He's gonna get another kill. And RSG kills all over the map. Even if I'm under the tower, I'm feeling the power, says Ammon. Getting that crossbow of Tang right on the money. Right on time. Another what? hook. And another one from Ben Things is now going to go. Uh, go out and light is on fire right now. Yeah, I mean, just play after play all across the map here. And this is, again, going back to my point, right? RSG making great decisions. Uh, they obviously learned from last week here, and they're just allowing each member to really find those moments. You got to say, too, Kenji doing a great job here. Very comfortable sitting at the 2-0 on this ruby, right? The next turtle is now up here. And with this lead, a 3K gold lead that RSG Philippines has, they're feeling pretty good about this one. Yeah, half HP here on the turtle. Ben Thing's not really in a position to take anything. And Demon Kite will be able to secure the second turtle of the game for RSG Philippines. Good call there for TNC, not forcing anything. Would have been disastrous if they did so, but here comes RSG. Oh, Ben Things, he gets a setup Ooh, the there. The feathered oh. airstrike, Escalera's angry, and Demon Kite strapping to the wall. Oh, 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 oh. Massive play coming in from Aqua.
Aqua, Demon Kites gets the reset. Escalera has to fly away, and Aqua with a massive play to save the day. The mid laners for both teams are having a tremendous showing so far. Aqua has been getting a lot of kills and a lot of assists, but now we saw Escalera's potential on the Farsa in this game. RSG need to watch out for that, but TNC need to watch out for the lethal umbrella of Aqua. And here we go, the awesome value prediction from Samsung. Who will take more objectives this game, Demon Kite or SDZYZ? Don't forget the hashtag, of course, the hashtag Samsung Awesome always wins, and name the player to join that one. So as you guys mentioned, uh oh the setup once again at the top lane, for that orange buff. So going back to that, like you said, Redmar before Aquaman plays a very uh, aggressively on this Kagura in a form of assassination in a way, right? Yep. So that's what they do have to be careful of if you're TNC. Already looking for moments to focus on Emon here in the bottom lane. Now Emon, Emon knows. Emon thinks. Has the Emon has a feeling. The Peter tingle. He feels <laughs> it. The, the Ammon tingle? The Ammon tingle. <laughs> he, he could feel it. DNC, there's right there. Three people. He calls up his friends. Uh -oh. He goes conceal. Light goes in for the Cancel. flicker. Cancels out the Nomen and Blast. But he's going to suffer damage coming in from Escalera. And Escalera It's the feathered oh. airstrike. God, a killing spree for the mid laner of TNC. Escalera with a Dikembe Matumbo finger wag. Not today, young man. Not today. Eman, a little bit too brave there, but I like what he tried to show. But Escalera, I like your response even more. My goodness, again, this is what I've missed seeing, actually. You know, we haven't seen Farsa too much lately, but yeah. now it's back into the game here, and already Turtle gonna be worked on here by RSG. Yep, Turtle, Demon Kite, he's able to use his retribution, and he secures it. So that's three Turtles, right? RSG clean there for those objectives like we mentioned don't forget to join that prediction as well so already rsg off to once again a very dominant start in terms of objectives but i gotta say tnc doing a great job at finding picks themselves right also with escalera sitting on three here for this farsa with that mystery shop is going to help them a lot better yeah and now TNC, they're trying to set up something here in the mid lane. They're trying to defend this tower. It's very important, especially in the early game, Renmar. Yeah, and I like the information that Kenji is getting here. He's going into where he feels SDZYZ is a given time. Another fight. Oh, nice. So coming in from light. Pinpoint prediction. It's a shutdown for Emin as well. Oh, oh man. Light hook. Yeah, and Cram, he continues it. Oh. Ken G in a 2v1 situation. SDCYC, a two-man, a don't roll Wolf King. And now Ken is gonna emote and run away. What a play. Well, he's feeling pretty good, right? He's, again, he's on that 2-0 with this Ruby. He's very comfortable there, but already, this is what we're seeing. RSG taking space across the map. They've now got two turrets here. Light continuously looking for picks. Emon feeling very comfortable on this 1-1 one -one as well. Oh. No, man, on flash with a flicker. Ban thinks with a play. Two man stun to a kill for TNC, and they're gonna back off. RSG and TNC know how much this game matters. They know they didn't have the best week one, both of them, and now they're showing to us and reminding us why they reached the heights that they reached last season. Cram, though, in trouble under tower against three. Oh no, Cram, it's three fourths HP. Kenji Aqua is there, one more combo. Demon Kite goes in, and it's a killing spree. A three kill and Only. three assist total for Demon Kite, and Light might be in trouble. I like what TNC are doing now, though, trying to counter here in the bottom, but respecting the fact that they only have one siege minion, so they're not gonna force it because they know the Lord is up and they feel the Demon Cat has started it, which he has. Can he get it before TNC gets there? It's not even a turtle, it's a Lord. Ben Thinks is signaling everybody, oh. but the Lord is taken down by RSG. Too fast, too good, and Ben Thinks, he's gonna fall down. That's a bonus after that Lord. Oh man, RSG have been dissecting TNC slowly so far. TNC have a strong team fight composition, but RSG, lately they've been trying to avoid those fights. They've been avoiding the big 5v5, 4v4 battles because they know that they don't have a lot of tools to get to that far. So, so they're saying, we're gonna split the map, try to find wins elsewhere, and at the same time, RSG have covered their side lanes incredibly well. I think this is great, right? You did grab pretty much all these objectives so far, but TNC still actually being able to 
put the fight up against RSG. They're going to be able to clear this Lord actually pretty easily, especially with the lineup they have here. But they need to continue to work around the, these picks that RSG is looking for. They need to get this advantage so they can start getting space around the map too. And here you go, a Lord already at the mid side. Tier 2 turret going to be worked on here. It's going to most likely go down. TNC needs to be careful here as they defend their base. Yeah. And now the defense starts for TNC. The Lord is still up. It is just a level one Lord. Feathered Airstrike will be able to take him oh. down. The hook won't land and Grammy's going to go in. No stun coming in from Wan Wan. And Emin, he's going to survive that engage. The blessing already popped in the top lane. So far, so good for the defense of TNC. And this is what's rough in the lineup with a Hayabusa when you're in this situation where you're trying to defend. All you can do is throw your shurikens, maybe get a bit of damage done there with the shadow kill, but usually you'll save that shadow kill for the escape. TNC, they have the tools to defend. They just cannot get picked off while they're in their base. Light is there on RSG with his Franco, and he's shown that he's been, he's, he's feeling the hooks today. He's landing them really well. Risky play here for TNC though. Emman might be in trouble here. Three forts HP. He's gonna be able to run away. No iron hook will land. And so far, the, oh. this oh, thing gets over. Oh, the flicker. Benthix might be in trouble, but he's still alive. Here comes the crossbow off the Emrys at Yasuo's Ooh. next. Can he be able to take him down? No. Emman, here comes the shadow kill. OG, Demon Kite. He's still alive and Cram is now going to disengage everyone out of sight of TNC. Man, oh man, again, you saw the damage coming out from oh! RSG, but oh, he goes in with a flicker, he has to back out here, so almost a light fighting another pick here. So again, this is what we're seeing, 8k gold lead from RSG, you saw how much they're lacking in damage for TNC, even with the barely any health left, SD couldn't get that kill. And look at that, full defensive Karina for Demon Kite, already picking up the Twilight armor there. So be able to deal some good amount of sustained damage while the members of TNC are dishing it out to him. I'm waiting for the third item here of Escalera. So far, he only has a lightning crunch and a clock of destiny. He'll need one more to be something that can really change the tide of this battle for TNC. Okay, this is tough, right? TNC forced to just stay together here. SD trying to push that bottom out. So most likely, they get the call. Just give up this Lord. Let's defend again, right? And that's exactly what RSG is going to do here. No contest at all. And we see TNC once again on the defensive. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow, look at them. Okay, I really thought they were just going to go run straight into the purple buff. <laughs> I, I like what RSG is showing right now. Uh, their decisiveness, their eagerness to make something happen. They're not sitting around. They know they have a massive lead. They're not getting too comfortable. Uh, they're willing to take risks, which in this situation is okay because of the massive lead you have as long as it's calculated. TNC, also, this is all that they can do in this situation. They really just have to hold on. Again, I will repeat, no one ha no one must get picked off by Light. The moment Light ha lands a hook and it connects and he lands a suppress, it's over, RSG will win the game. That's the hard thing though, when you're against a Franco, he can kind of force you out of this defensive uh, play style that you're going with in defending the base. So already here we go Lord gonna be marching in the top and they have to defend against this one hook Not gonna connect here, but there you go on the defense TNC has to do it another time They're gonna work on the Lord, but here we go RSG. It's not just the hook It's also the sight coming in from Kenji. That's two inhibitor turrets down on the side of TNC They're gonna go bot lane this time RSG trying to make something happen SDZYC Numenon Blast will be casted on air and it's a big waste here for TNC as the siege continues. I actually like that TNC attempted to do that. It was just a good response by RSG. It looks like they really felt it and saw it coming. The moment they saw Ben Things was about to get into position, they were already backing off. Mm -hmm. Again, this is the hard thing, right? How do you utilize what you have here for TNC? You can defend quite for quite a while, right? But you are most likely gonna lose this turret as well. You don't have the new moon blast, but here you go, the setup. Uh, Oogie Shadow Kill doesn't really deal off damage. He's gonna go back safely though. Nice poke coming in from SD. It's a, sort of a good sign though for TNC that even if SDZYZ goes in and lands a Shadow Kill onto three with the Wild Ones as the main target, he brought him down to 50%. Yeah. So that's a good sign. Demon Kite actually burns the flicker of Ben Thinks there. It's a great play coming in from Ben Thinks, but Demon Kite with oh. fast reaction. Yeah, it's oh, coming in from the clutch time, Kenji. And SD has to go back. Nice suppress coming in from Light, and that's the Paquita going down. No ultimate coming in from the Yin Yang overturn. And TNC, they're still gonna be alive for four people defending against five. No more minions for RSG, and they gotta play the waiting game.
Yeah, again, uh, this is very disciplined of RSG, right? Yes. So that's what we're seeing here. I mean, they know they have a massive lead. We're talking over uh, 10,000 gold here, right? But you can already see in their decision making, they don't want this one to slip out of their hands here, even with the lead. Lord's going to be up here shortly, and they want to just go ahead and confidently take that and again, get that last inhibitor turret in the base and then move on from there. Divine Glaive already in the hands of Escalera with those three core items for that mage. They should be good. They should... Okay, even though it's a 10k gold lead for RSG, TNC now have the tools to turn the fight around. They just need godlike execution <laughs> to do it because of the lead that RSG built up. But definitely, the possibility is there for TNC to turn it around, especially if they can catch Eman quickly. Look at Aqua, right? Sitting in the back there, but Lord, less than half health here. Let's see if TNC can give this one a go. Aqua still waiting patiently over there on the top side. Not a team wants to commit to this just yet. Aqua now making his way down. Moving on blast, lands on wide. Kenji, he's gonna go down with the oh, Amber oh. The Lord will be secured here by Demon Kite. Aqua with a play, takes down Escalera. Yugi Sh Shadow Kill already used here, and he's gonna go down as well. Gram, Yasuo, Ben thinks they're gonna run for their lives. It's a 4v3. Gram oh, is Graham. in trouble. Emman is rushing in. He's a two man knockup with a knockout punch, and Ben thinks with the protection. Nice defense from TNC. Oh, but now the bad thing is for TNC, the Lord is marching in the mid lane. The mid Minions in the top and in the mid are coming in. Bottom, count that as well. RSG might be on the way to ending this game number one. And this might just be end game because the hook will land and grab. He has to dash out. They're fighting for their lives, but the base will no longer stand because RSG will secure game one. Man, oh man. Again, very disciplined here of the Raiders. RSG just showing that they're calm, collective, and what a play there too at the end. The patience of Aqua looking for the setup.